Hello, today I'll be presenting on our RoboCut project. Our team consists of Isabel, the leader and programmer, um, me, Tianzi, as the builder, Kushi, who is the other builder, and Pingjing, who is our other programmer. So here is the hardware design of our robot. Our robot has two color sensors used for line tracing because we need to sense the green squares at the junction and also for added accuracy when line tracing as compared to just using one color sensor. And the color sensors are positioned at the front and near the wheels of the robot along with the ultrasonic sensor so that it does not obstruct the collection system as well as the turning of the robot. We also use four large motors in the design. Two are used for turning the wheels of the robot, while the other two are used for turning the rotor of the collection system. We use large motors instead of medium motors because the medium motors were unable to rotate fast enough For the ultrasonic sensor, it is used to detect obstacles and we position it vertically to ensure that it is able to receive the ultrasonic sound waves that are emitted. For movement, we use bicycle wheels. Bicycle wheels are tall, hence it allows the collection system to have enough space to store the ping pong balls. Bicycle wheels are also slimmer and it fits within the width limit. The holes on the tires generate more friction so that the robot has a better grip on the slope. For collecting and dispensing the ping pong balls, we use a line of rotors that are spun by two large motors. When spun in an anti-clockwise direction, it will collect the it will collect the ping pong balls in, and when spun at the clockwise direction, it will dispense out the ping pong balls. A polycarbon sheet is um, attached inside the collection area to ensure smoother dispensing and collecting. Walls are also built around the robot to ensure that the ping pong balls are not ejected accidentally when dispensing or collecting. For the gears, um, the wheels have a 24 tooth gear input and a 40 tooth gear output, 3 to 5 ratio, and this increases the torque so that it can climb slopes more easily without slipping. And for the rotors of the collection system, we have a 40 tooth gear input and a 24 tooth gear output, which is a 5 to 3 ratio, increasing the speed of the rotor so that we can collect the balls more easily and also dispense them more easily. And for the software design of our robot, here are some uh, screenshots of our code. And this is our pseudocode written by Isabel. And for the design process of our robot, the first design, um, it had a simple base for the brain and sensors. Color sensors were mounted at the front and the side of the robot to line trace and also sense the boundary of the evacuation zone respectively. Uh, the ultrasonic sensor was connected horizontally at the front and there were two gears for each wheel for torque. Some problems faced with this first design was that um, we needed a catchment system and the ultrasonic sensor was like unable to sense the bottle properly because of its horizontal position. And lastly, the wheels were too far from the robot's center of gravity due to the gears between uh, the wheels and the motors. So this caused the robot to sag downwards. So for our second design, we replaced the wheels with bicycle wheels and so that the shape of the robot is more compact and it doesn't exceed the width limit. And also we mounted the ultrasonic sensors vertically so that you can sense the bottle. And there were two sets of rotors at the back of the robot so that we can bring the balls upwards and into the storage area on the brain. Some problems faced with this design was that the robot was too heavy so it caused the, uh, the wheels to bend and the dimensions still exceeded the limit because of the rotors. 
and also the rotors were not turning fast enough to um, lift the ball. And also um, the rotor speed was increased. When the rotor speed was increased, the balls were shot outwards instead of into the storage area. And also there was no slope for dispensing so that so it was very um hard for us to collect or dispense any balls. So for the final design, um, we move the wheels closer to the body so that it doesn't sag downwards and also prevents the axle from bending. We adjusted the brain to be vertical, vertical so that the free space can be used for the intake mechanism as the collection area. And we also added a slope inside the collection area so that um, we can collect and dispense more so um, smoothly. Uh, we also replaced the pulley wheels at the back of the robot with ball bearings for stability because the ball bearings were heavier and it helped to distribute the weight more evenly. And we also included uh, walls on top and the uh, sides of the intake mechanism to prevent any balls from being shot out. Of course, there were still some um, areas of improvement. For example, we could have used uh, Arduino color sensors for better accuracy and also because Arduino color sensors were more compact than the Lego ones, so we could have more space at the front. And also we could have um, managed our wires more properly because some of the wires were obstructing. Thank you for listening to our presentation.